Bon voyage! And we're off! Here we go! France and England, here we come! 2022, finally! Welcome to our hotel! And there's Peter Vickers, our tour guide! Bonjour! Hello! Heading into London! We just got off the plane and now we're heading on the tube from Gloucester Road to Tower Bridge. On y va! Here we go! <laughs> Welcome to the Tower of London and London Bridge! Yes. We made it! Woo Welcome again to the Tower of London. And then in the distance, the Tower Bridge. We're heading off to explore on our first day, get some sunlight here. And there's actually some Queen's Jubilee left over. Some reminiscent sights of her Jubilee year. So welcome to London! Oh, yes, they're all the happy faces. Where is my bed? Where is my pillow? Forget all this tourist list. Welcome to Tower Bridge here on the Thames. Here's the egg and the new tower cone there. And it's actually a hotel. As we move around, there's Bay and Liv having Nashville chicken fried sandwich. But real beautiful backdrop here of the Tower of London. And our first day here in London is spectacular. I'd say it's probably about 82, 83 degrees. Now heading off to walk over Tower Bridge and we came across these really cool pods to sit in. Maybe they're COVID safe, I don't know. Walking on Tower Bridge with the double decker bus. Woo over the Thames. And from the other side of Tower Bridge, here's the Tower of London in full view. And again, this is where the royals were executed or held prisoner all the modern architecture behind here on the Thames River. We're standing on the Tower Bridge. Okay, welcome back to our hotel. This is our room overlooking the stables. That is back in the older days when everyone was on horseback, they would bring their horses here and leave them in the stables. And that's what our room overlooks. And just to give you an idea of the size of our room, it's about yay big. And got a bathroom over here and a little fridge. So take a little break and then we'll go back to the streets after a nice dinner stroll down Queen's Gate and look what we came upon, the telephone booth. How fun. Oh, yeah, man. Hey, she joined us. We're here at Piccadilly. Piccadilly Circus and Piccadilly Boulevard right there. And having a wonderful time here in London, downtown Piccadilly Circus. Piccadilly Circus. Check it out. And then in the distance over here, we have Chinatown. <laughs> and we're heading to Leicester Square. Here's our group. There's Miss Ev again. Yay! Pet Manger is a really fun take it away kind of shop to eat. Some of the folks ate there before and then back to where we started down at Piccadilly. There's Mary Poppins. You ought to see Mary Poppins. Am I ruining your photo? All right, we made it to Trafalgar Square and this is George Washington. He swore he'd never step foot on English soil, but believe it or not, below this statue, it is indeed Virginia soil. Very nice, yes. And there, across from him, is Nelson. There we go. All right, here in Trafalgar Square. And what's really interesting is this interesting statue, and it rotates every six months. So welcome to Trafalgar Square. I'm gonna get my moves in. Good morning. It is Friday. It is June the 17th now. This is Kensington Palace. I just got up early. The sun was actually up around four. Got up about 5.15 and decided to run out here to Hyde Park, otherwise known as Kensington Palace and the Kensington Palace Gardens that blend right into Hyde Park. And going for a morning jog. It's beautiful. It's probably about 65 degrees right now. So good morning, London. Made it to the Princess Diana, Princess of Wales Memorial Fountain. And absolutely beautiful, very different. But usually there's water running through the fountain. But right here in the backdrop of Hyde Park. Beautiful bridge. On the other side is the Kensington Palace Gardens I was just in. Just a quick roundabout of the area. So good morning, London, and we're off to another exciting day. Good morning, this is Prince Charles's house and here are the guards outside here, if you can see them in the red, and we're heading down now 
to Buckingham Palace. Hey, bonjour. Welcome to Buckingham Palace. This is where the Jubilee took place. And we got a chance to see on TV all the grandstands. They've dug up the flower beds for all the grandstands. That's the main road where they had the parades. And this is the balcony where little Prince Louis and Kate and the Queen were all standing. We know that the Queen is not in residence because of the flag. It's a certain flag that they fly when she's in residence, but we have made it downtown. Gorgeous day. Supposed to be the hottest day in England today. Oh, this is getting quite dramatic. Say cheerio. Cheerio. Chin chin. Cup of tea. Stews. Okay. And on the other side, through the park, here's the London Eye. And there are the little ducks. Wonderful view of Buckingham Palace. Lovely. Welcome. Welcome to St. Paul's Cathedral. This is where the famous weddings took place here. Beautiful, beautiful area. We're heading on. Welcome to St. Andrew's Cathedral. The old St. Paul's Cathedral. After St. Paul's Cathedral, now we're here at Shakespeare's Globe. Theater, at least this is where they think it was at one point. It's around thatched roof theater. And now we're going to stroll the promenade or the Jubilee walkway. Hi guys, hello everybody. En route back to Buckingham Palace, Big Ben, Parliament, see how much we can hit up. All right, but first, find food. Still en route to Big Ben and Parliament here in the distance over the Westminster Bridge. We've had a lovely time strolling along the promenade here on the wharf side. And there's the eye right here. A lot of folks in line for that, but found some great places to eat and had just a beautiful, beautiful day to stroll. Even though it's the hottest day in England today, it has been perfect for us. It's probably 88, but the humidity is not that bad, so it's very doable. So we continue on. Some folks are shopping, some people are in museums, some people are taking a break. It's just a beautiful day. So happy, happy, happy day in London. Welcome to Parliament. And over here, made it to Buckingham Palace, and there is the guard. Hopefully, he won't fuss at me for sticking this through the gate. That is so cool. We missed the changing of the guard. It was at 11 this morning, according to Emma's phone. Thank you, Emma. But this is the balcony where Queen Elizabeth just celebrated her 70 years, her Jubilee year, about a week and a half ago. And Princess Kate and William were out there with their children and Louis was making all sorts of fun faces. So what a cool year to be here. The guard is on the move. This guy, that's much. Right here at Buckingham Palace, lots of people. Looking back to where they had the flyover and down the main street. Back to our group. Yay! All right, one last panorama. Last look here with the plane in the background. Now we're going to head back to Kensington Palace and back to the hotel for dinner. After our jaunt from Hyde Park and Buckingham Palace, we made it to Kensington Palace over here. Beautiful Kensington Palace. And after having a scone, came to this beautiful garden. And when you look through the opening here, William and Harry dedicated this beautiful memorial garden to their mom since she's buried on the island the public cannot access and there's princess diana with several children around her for her love of children so this is another memorial to her different from the one that i ran to this morning that was the the winding brook if you will unfortunately there's no water in it um because there are too many people playing in it but this is gorgeous so right here at kensington palace where prince william and kate are now living okay after dinner we're going on the uber taxi boat onto the Thames River. This should be a lot of fun. So, bon voyage. All right, we're on the boat. Very exciting. And I, we're on an Uber boat, just like this one here. Now we're gonna turn around and head towards Greenwich. Couple more sites, here's the Shard.
Greenwich. We got to the most English pub here. It's called the Trafalgar Tavern. And even all the umbrellas have all the flags. That is so awesome. Right here in Greenwich, we just took the ferry here. Good morning. How is everybody? Good morning. Good morning, everybody. We're heading to France. Goodbye to England. Bye, guys. Good morning. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Just want to show you the pretty breakfast bar that we have here in England. Our croissant. What's super, super fun is what says bacon is actually ham and sausages. But more exciting is there are baked beans here in England. And truly, it is baked beans for breakfast. But this was delightful. Hash brown and mushrooms for breakfast as well. So, bon appetit, and we're off to France on the ferry soon after Stonehenge. En route to Stonehenge. Good morning. It is June the 18th, Saturday morning, and we are approaching Stonehenge. We have just arrived in Stonehenge. And the baby sheep here and now we're going to head off into the distance walk up to the stone. Hi Emma. Hello, Hello from Stonehenge. Just to get perspective of where we are, we're now looking at the slaughter stone and looking east where the sun rises. We have the sheep in the fields. Hey guys. Love sheep. Yes. <laughs> Thanks Emma. <laughs> and then back to Stonehenge facing towards now the way. After Stonehenge, a stop along the auto route that is, and Salisbury. This is the cathedral in the distance. We're just stuck in traffic, but looking off to the cathedral. And here in Salisbury, it's home to, to possibly the Magna Carta they claim to have. Town of Salisbury, England, most known for the cathedral, which has the relic of, or the uh, Magna Carta, very, very important document. Just arrived at the port. Now we're all going to be heading in. Hey guys, boarding the ferry. Off to France. Okay, here we go. Heading on to the ferry. Bonjour! Heading off to La France. Leaving the Portsmouth port. It's also a navy yard. So some really cool ships here in the distance. Getting ready to take off here. We're on a really big ship. See? Hey, Mr. Art, hello. Hi, guys. How's it ready? Oh, it's all good. Hey, guys. Everybody's, this is a big ship. Big, 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 big ship. There we go. Miss Tanya, how are you? Hello, everybody. And then we have over here, in the distance, following Mr. Art over. Beautiful view. Okay, now exploring inside, we have a game room. Here's the cafe. And then there's a nice bar over here. Hey, bay. Really cool place. Okay, bon appetit. There's Art and we got Bay. Hey, bud. Oh, there's your head. All right, we got some good meals. We had a little fun in French. And then we got the ladies. Hi, guys. Bon appetit. And there's Dad. There we go. All right, my favorite salad is Bon appetit. Oh, cool. The guy's on the beach are waving at us. He's either waving at us or he's drowning. Oh, that's awesome. Heading into La Manche, the English Channel. It's authentic shrimp. They're still looking at us. <laughs> Back outside, it's a little overcast, but quite beautiful still. It's a huge boat. Just had a lovely lunch and had just a wonderful time on the cruise ship. So, bon voyage en France. Okay, bon appetit, everybody. Bon appetit, bon appetit, bon appetit, bon appetit. Hey guys, eating on our cruise here. Bon appetit, Mr. Ferrara, bon appetit. out to the beach the wind has died down a little bit but look at this on the beach it's really cool it's almost like in saving private ryan with the mist really really cool welcome to normandy
morning, bonjour, and welcome to the Hotel Mercure here at Normandy. That is indeed a golf course behind me. Unfortunately, it's like 55 degrees and rainy, but I'm gonna go explore a little bit and see what's around us. So, on y va. Welcome to Normandy. We made it to France. Welcome to the little town we're staying at Port That's right there. Ran down here to the center of town, but it is very windy and quite chilly. About 55, but very cute town. One more quick view before the wind picks up again. The adorable little seaside town here in Normandy. Bienvenue! Good morning to our cow friends, too. They're sitting down, so obviously they know it's gonna rain. But hopefully it'll end up being a, a little fine day after all. A little chilly, but we'll make the best of it. Good morning, it is Sunday. We are now at the Pointe du Oc. To give you an overview of where we are, we're right there. We stayed in this town over here. And now we're gonna be heading out to the cliffside where our rangers came in and defended. And then you can see the point right there and looking out to where we're gonna go. So. Heading off now, Puente. Heading over to the point, the point. You can see in the distance the bunkers. Chilly, just probably like that day. Okay, now here we are atop Puente, looking down. Very eerie how the weather is very indi indicative of probably what it was like back in the day. Here's the bunker where the gentlemen, the soldiers would be with their machine guns firing. We just came from this direction. It is raining, yes. Down over here, the beaches in the distance. Just arrived at the American Cemetery. This is where Saving Private Ryan, the opening scene, takes place. We're now walking up to the main memorial for a group photo. Come American Cemetery here in Normandy. It's, it's cold great. and wet, but beautiful. Colville-sur-Mer Cemetery, French Cemetière. The 
Jean and Private Ryan right here. And this is it. This is the actual scene. We just found it. This is the actual recreating exactly where the intro to Saving Private Ryan was. We just discovered the exact headstone and everything. It's just right up from Theodore Roosevelt Jr. Right there, it's a Jewish star. And right behind it, the cross. Heading back to the bus. Cute little provincial town. Welcome to Saint Malo. We're heading into our hotel after a really bittersweet day in Normandy. Just rainy, cold, but very reminiscent of D-Day. But now we head into a really fun city called Saint Malo. On y va. Welcome to our hotel, the Chateau Briand. We're right above the little reception area, which is great. It's so cute. And Olivia. And our nice little windowsill, nice little room. Really, really pretty. It's actually a triple, apparently. But this looks like a really fun hotel. So we shall see. Yay. Welcome to our awesome hotel here, the Chateau Briand. It is very, very charming. A little buggy inside, only because the ramparts attract a bunch of flies. But very, very pretty. And this is where we'll be staying tonight. And ta-da! There's our hotel. And the main square, right here in Saint Malo right next to the Hotel de Ville and the ramparts of the old city. Heading out. Here's the famous beach where my American friend and I climbed out with some French friends and the tide came in and we had to carry them to shore. It has been one of my funniest stories going on in my life for a long time. Nonetheless, this is Saint Malo. It's a beautiful town, beach town, and we're gonna go climb the ramparts, the walls of the city here shortly after dinner. Made to the beach. And the Walt City. Okay, dinner time. Check out our beautiful restaurant here at Chateau Prion. Bon and here's our dessert. Oh, that's so exciting. Look at that. That's beautiful. It's coming our way. Here we go. Here we go. Look at that. Bonjour, Saint Malo. Beautiful but overcast morning. No real sunrise. But gorgeous stroll and run here on the promenade. It should be adventure to Mont Saint Michel. Today is Monday and we're off again. Made it quite a distance on my run this morning. Absolutely beautiful morning. Good morning, everybody. Here are the ladies. Good morning. <laughs> All right, on to breakfast. Bon appetit. Bonjour. And for breakfast, we have the cap. Yum in the tub. And welcome to Mont Saint Michel. One of my all time favorite places to be. Bonjour, Mont Saint Michel. Here we come. Cheers, from us. Here's the Famelet Omelet Shop, La Mer Poulain. Welcome to Mont Saint Michel. That's how we came in. You can see how the tide is slowly coming in. This is where you don't walk by yourself because there is legit quicksand. Give you a quick panorama. You may. Now we're looking back at the monastery. We're doing a private tour now at the monastery at the very top now of Mont Saint Michel. Haley just pointed out you can see the tide coming in. 
And now you can see groups going out on excursions, but you have to be very, very, very careful because you will get stuck in quicksand. But the tide is on its way in. And all this has been built up. It used to be just a road on the sand when we first were here. Here comes the tide. And now the tide's coming in pretty quick here too. The reason why it's not too big Okay, just came down from Monte Michel and the seagull is here with his baby in the bushes. I keep calling them penguins by whatever reason. I think it's called tired. Anyway, there they are right here at the base of Mont Saint Michel. And what's really cool is if we stroll around here, the tide has already come in and we're surrounded by water. Crazy. Had a great time visiting the Mont, the monastery here at the top. Well, hello. And look at the tide, it's all in. You guys are very, very pretty. Thank you. Go up. Okay, time to move on. Let's go. We have another tour guide. He says down. You gonna say? Say down. Might have his baby. Where's the baby? I think they're gonna start. I think they're yelling at you. Everybody's talking. Time to go down. Look at this candy. That's a banana. And then look at the strawberries. That's so cool. And the giant Coke bottle. Holy smokes, this is crazy. Never seen it like this. That's so awesome. Okay, this is at La Mer Pula, and they're making the omelets. You can see how big they are. Voila. Put it into the bowl and into the fire. So. Alright, here's our galette. It's a buckwheat cake. It's a salad. And then, if you don't mind, we have bourguignon. Yum in the tongue. And our dessert. Here's profiterol cream puffs. And the tart normal. So that would be the apple tarts. Bienvenue à Tours. Now we're in Tours. We're on the Loire River. This is our hotel, and we're getting ready to have dinner and then go for a nice stroll. Hey, voila, la gare de Tours. This is your fancy train station. Very, very great. Bienvenue à l'Hôtel de Ville. That's the mayor's house, if you will, and the town hall. And we're here in the Centre Ville, in the center of town on route to dinner. All right, just arrived at dinner. Here we go. Bon appétit. Looking up, quite pretty. This is beautiful, beautiful. Bon appétit à Tours. Bon appétit! It's tart tatin. It's a famous apple dessert dish here in France. Yum in the Bonjour, Detour! Et voilà la Loire, the magical Loire River with all the castles, which we're going to make tour tomorrow. Had a lovely walk. Giving you a quick view, sunset. Everybody showed up. There's Monsieur oh, Perrault. Oh, la la. Just came down. Beautiful area here. Now heading down. How about a sunset on the Loire River, La Vallée de la Loire here in Tour. And so we're gonna have a wonderful day tomorrow. Thanks guys. Merci, au revoir. Okay. Look at the lights flashing. How beautiful here on the Loire. Bonjour. Good morning. It is Tuesday and we are heading off to the Chateau de la Loire. The Castles of the Loire, which is the river you're looking at. It's about 5.45 here in the morning. This is where we were last night looking at the sunset. So it's a beautiful, calm morning. I'm looking very forward to our tour today. On y va. Bienvenue à Chateau de Chanceau. This is the Cher. We're going to be approaching the castle here shortly and heading on in. Bonjour tout le monde. Good morning, everybody. Bienvenue à Chateau de Chanceau. On y va. Et voila le château! Okay, we're entering Chateau Chalonceau, just like in our textbook, the silly little video with Hector. This is exactly where it took place. Oh, Cher River. Welcome to Chateau Chalonceau, the chapel. We just entered the castle. It's one of the prettiest, no doubt. They call it this castle the six women for a reason. Beautiful flowers. Welcome to Diane de Poitiers' bedroom. This is the mistress of the king. So beautiful. Welcome to the green room and the flowers are fresh. 
every day they say they change them out and switch them in different rooms. Beautiful. And here is where it straddles the river, and that's the ballroom that was used and converted to a military hospital during the war. And this is where one side of the river was occupied territory and the other was unoccupied, so we did a surprise attack, the French did a surprise attack on the Germans here. Okay, so this is where you have the Queen's emblem overshot by the D of Diane de Poitiers, and uh, the favorite being the mistress, Diane de Poitiers. Her name was overset by the Queen, Marie de Medici, and Henry II, and their emblem here. So here was originally supposed to be a ballroom, but now, but eventually it was used as a military hospital. It smells really, really good, we think, from all the spruce and pines along the wall. And then this beautiful array of flowers dedicated to those who were hurt during the war, 1914 to 1918. Ah, this is where they cook some food. Beautiful kitchen area. Here we go. Goes in here to the épicerie. Here we get all the little spices from all the flowers. Look how beautiful. Excuse me. Et voilà la cuisine. Enfin. And the staff's eating room. Salle à manger. Beautiful flowers. Look at that. And this was the queen's bedroom, Catherine de Medici. She's on the second floor. So a quick view of her room. And speaking of the queen, these are her gardens. And over on this side is Diane de Poitiers gardens. So we're looking out from her bedroom window right now in her little balcony. Another view of one of the bedrooms and in it there were also little C for Catherine de Medici and H on the, if you flip it on the side to Henry the second, the king. Back to the queen's bedroom, we have the royal pigeon protecting the bed. Bravo. So this is Louise's bedroom. It's all in black because she was in mourning and she kept it all in black so it's very dark, but kind of cool at the same time. She does have some pretty things on the walls, but nonetheless. So this is a portrait of Henry III, who was Louise's husband. He was assassinated and hence the reason her room is so dark and in black, as you can tell. I barely can see anything in here. And she was in mourning and retired here to Chenonceau to spend out her days. Hey, bonjour, Monsieur Ferrara, <laughs> and Miss Margulis, Chateau Chenonceau on the Cher River. How beautiful here in Catherine de Medici's gardens and the beautiful, beautiful rose bouquets here. Fantastic. Now over to Diane de Poitiers gardens. So well manicured, both gardens. Absolutely stunning. The backdrop of the castle and the tower. And lastly, the view from Diane de Poitiers' side. This is where in our little textbook with Hector, the silly little video where he gets trapped along the share. Put back around here and here's our group coming. Hey guys. And back around. Beautiful day here at Chanel. One more look. Look at how big the fish are here in the Riviere Share. The Share River. That's new exhibition here, military hospital. Just caught it on our way out of Chanel here in the ballroom, as you see the black and white on the floor, that's how it was actually used. Chateau de Chambord. It was here rating about Chambord. Has Chambor. a lot of amazing features. Chambord known are 426 rooms, over 800 columns to keep it uh, sculpted, 282 fireplaces, 84 staircases, and 200 chimneys. Chambord sur la Montier's castle here in the distance. The castle. Hang on. Comes the Chateau de Ménard here on the left on the Loire Valley. Drive as we go along to Chambord. Okay. Bonjour Chambord! Bonjour everybody! Bonjour. Bonjour! Entering Chateau de Chambord. There's some construction going on, but we're still going in and going to start counting the salamanders. That was the symbol of Francis the First, and then we'll climb the double helix staircase here shortly. Okay, we're walking in. Here we go, Chateau Chambord. This was Emma's castle. So she told us all about it, and this is her big moment. Here he is, Francois Le Premier. This is the guy with the salamanders, and this is his castle. Once hunting lodge, here's your double helix staircase, Da Vinci invented for him. And then you'll see the interior is a lot less um, decorated than Chanel Sioux, but, we will have a lot of fun. So you have to remember this was originally a hunting lodge. So a lot of what you see was hunting lodge. Now we're on the other side of the double helix staircase. So we're gonna do a little game and see if we can hear each other going up. There are your salamanders and your F and false one of Camille. Here in the ceiling of Chambord. Et voila, there's the double helix staircase we just came up. Now we're at the top. 
here's a little group of some French kids having their tour and then out to the gardens and beyond. Here are the beautiful gardens of Chambord. This is the parking where we just came from, way over here in the restaurants. And there's a big music festival going to go on later tonight because it is the summer solstice today. It is June 21st. Another angle, very reminiscent of Versailles with a reflecting pool. Beautiful. Okay, this is the bed chamber, the most important room in the royal apartment. Louis the 14th's bed was no doubt set on a platform. Check that out. That's his bed. Here, it looks very much like Versailles. Very nice. Just do a quick panorama here. And then we look right out. So this would be the royal bedroom, but not a Francis the First, as we were learned Louis the Fourteenth would stay. Here we have the Queen's apartments. And these are the Queen's apartments in the 18th century. I guess everybody had their own century of apartments. Beautiful. And some more beautiful rooms here in Chambord. 18th century apartment. And voila. Finally found Francis the first royal apartment and all of his hunting <laughs> trophies. Little friends. Little friends. Nonetheless, <laughs> wow. Pretty interesting here. Yay, voila, les crêpes. Gonna have some lunch here at Chambon and this lovely lady let me take a video of her making les crêpes. <laughs> and this is how they do it here in La France. I need one of those sticks, that's cool. So, what? Coffee. Neat. Voila, there's Olivia. Ooh, la la. Look at that. Cafe. Très bien. Fantastique. Et voila. All right, we have the group eating over there. In a minute, it's coming. But over here, we have this wonderful man eating his crepe with his beret and his little poodle on his little bag. So very lovely. Tout à fait français. Bon appétit! After watching the crepes we made, now we see them all. So Jocelyn, what'd you get? Uh, the beurre sucre. Oh, beurre sucre. That would be butter and, and sugar. What'd you, what, Nutella? Oh, <laughs> chocolat. Ooh la la. Très bien. Chocolate Nutella. And Amy? La Nutella aussi. Nutella aussi. Bon appétit. Oh, <laughs> Yours is got it's, it's the onion and like ham onion. and cheese and jambon uh, and almond. Oh, you got the galette. So you got the dinner crepe like I did. Awesome. And then Grace, what'd you get? Uh, the confiture de fraise. Confiture de fraise, strawberry jam. Well, bon appétit tout le monde here at Chambord. Au revoir, Chambord. Quite an impressive view, inside and outside. Just a beautiful, beautiful place. Now we're heading off to Paris. How exciting! So au revoir, Loire, Loire Valley. It's been a lovely pleasure. Bienvenue à Chartres. So we just made it to Chartres. This is the cathedral in our French 2 textbook that we study. And if you notice on the left-hand side, there is the Gothic column and on the right-hand side, the Romanesque due to fire um, hundreds of years ago. The rose window here in the middle and a lot of the stained glass was removed so it wouldn't be damaged during the war. It was actually rolled up and buried so that the townspeople could protect their precious cathedral. There's the relic of the Virgin Mary shroud in here as well. So we're gonna go try to find that. And as we head in, voila! Okay, as we round to the corner where Sophie is, this is the exact scene in our textbook. And they were buying a little postcard right inside there. And as we turn, we'll have the cathedral off to our side and we'll get a chance now to come check it out.
It's also Thanks the end of this bridge where Marlon Brando has his apartment in Last Tango in Paris. Also, if you search Metro Surfing in Paris, you'll see young guys on top of those trains. So, <laughs> just standing on the trains. It's very naughty. So, look out for the 13th tunnel. column. Where just Diana died. Look on our left. You might see a single rose symbolizing where Diana passed. 13th about, column. 13th column. Is where Diana they usually have a passed. rose somewhere. I can't see the symbol of it. it I'm not sure, but that's normally where it is. She was coming through on the other side, so maybe the rose is on the other side. Okay, we're now over. crossing onto the Champs Elysees. Look at that. Look at that. You look through the arc, you can see the square of leather fonts behind that. Straight ahead. ahead, we've got the Place de la Concorde and the Obelisk. First survival in Paris, how exciting. Well, it's a Tolstoy look at this street. The American Embassy, Dad, went this way. American Embassy is in the distance the here, so. Traffic in Paris, we just watched the motorcycle guys and the guys on scooters. They just weave in and out like they own the place. Crazy. Absolutely. Like tickets, so now it's the Festival Music. Today is the summer solstice, and these are the lines to go to the music festival. So again, we're still driving to our hotel, just arrived in Paris. Oh, the VIPs, look to the left. Some, some politician. Oh, very nice, very nice. There's the Cafe de la Paix, very famous look the restaurant. Left the Opera House coming the out. Opera House opera is coming, coming out. out. Here it comes. Ooh, there it is. Oh, it's so clean. It looks so pretty. So the Café de la Paix right there on the left. Where's the phantom? Oh, yes. Bienvenue à notre hotel. Really, really pretty and snacks and even a cute little area for the kids. Et voila, now we're entering and going in and it's going to be a great time while we're here. I know it. Fabulous. Hey, bienvenue à notre chambre. Welcome to our room. Look at this. Like, it's grass inside the desk. Everything is color-coded. Bleu Blanc Rouge in honor of the French flag. Wait till I show you the hallway. This is our view, looking down into the breakfast area and then we've got the elevator. But what's crazy, hi Olive, is back out here in the hallway. Are you ready for it? Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Ta-da! And this would be the hallway. It's a little shiny like, but nonetheless, we are in Paris. So bienvenue, welcome. And here's the other side of our room. Look at that. It looks like the French flag. That's so crazy. We're taking the elevator down, down, down into the reception area. Super cute. Super, super cute. Really liking this hotel. So this makes it a lot of fun. All right. a goat cheese salad. So bon appetit, hot goat cheese, mind you. Well, bon appetit, it's confit de canard, which is duck, and roasted potatoes. This is quite a meal. And we're having a lovely time. Hi guys, hello everybody. Bon appetit, everybody, fantastic. Bon appetit, bon appetit, everybody. And the dessert, it's called chou a la creme, which is like a, if you will, cream puff or a, custard filled puffs. We also call them poquito con when they're lit. So one of the festival after dinner. It's the Cinque Sour Solstice. And there's dinner and there's the Here we are on the metro. Yeah. 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 Okay, summer solstice, a full event. And here's everybody. Hey guys, we're squeezing every last drop out of this day. Okay, summer solstice, a full event. And here's everybody. Hey guys. We're squeezing every last drop out of this day. Bonjour, Bailey. All right, voila, Notre Dame. Unfortunately, it's still not open, but they've done amazing work. It looks a lot better than it did, and there's scaffolding around back, but we'll try to walk around and see what we can see. So we made it on the summer solstice with all the street parties. We made it. Yay! And now you can see the construction going on. Wow, it's crazy. That's where the spire used to be. Right straight up there. Okay, now we are crossing from behind Notre Dame and the construction there. We're 
crossing the bridge to go to Eel San Luis now. Bonjour, Paki. I'm out for my morning run. It's about 6.30 and heading down to where I used to live. It should be a really fun day. It's calmed down a lot. It's Wednesday. So we'll have an awesome day here in Paris. Bonjour. Bonjour, Anka. Good morning. This is exactly where I used to live. And I used to live right up here. And my room was this one on the far end. I was here on Rue Merame Neal at the corner of Boulevard Malzerbe and Miraminil. So down this way would be Champs-Élysées where I used to work and up this way would be Sacré-Cœur de Montre. Wow, I found it. And the door is different color. It used to be blue, now it's red. But that's where I used to go into my, my apartment with my French family. So there you go. And here is my old neighborhood church, St. Augustin. And now I'm heading back to our hotel. On y va. On route back to the hotel, here's the famous Printon. Big department store, competitor with Galerie Lafayette. Sold means it's on sale, there's a bunch of stuff. And of course you have these cool lights under here, which are always fun. Now we're gonna be heading towards the Galerie Lafayette. And now we're at the famous Galerie Lafayette. Here's an old train station turned into a department store. Really pretty. Competitor with Printon, it's kinda like Macy's and Nordstrom. And this is the back of the Opera House. So we're in a really good place for our hotel right down the street. On you back. Hey, voila, Nice Hotel. 343, Paris. Croissant 44. Hey, voila. And now off to the And after Paris, we have the Tour de France arrival. You know the. Voila, Arc de Triomphe. I need some pizza. It's Champs Elysees, where I used to work down here on this side. Tomb and flame so burning is with the fun. flowers the drive here. to commemorate the victims of World War One. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. World War One commemoration. So you see the people working underneath. Now, of course, there is a tunnel to reach the arc. You don't cross that square on foot. Huh? I see some crazy people yeah. doing it very yeah, often. Here but now there is a, a special underground path underneath. Huh? And 12 avenues, 12 identic pavilions around that square. Even easy. on the cobblestones, huh, you see the red shape of the star. And well, hey. Bonjour, Bonjour. Paris! Made it to the Eiffel Tower! All right, guys. Better view here without all the construction. Getting ready for the Olympics 2024. Welcome next to Les Invalides. This is where Napoleon is buried, and it's a nice landmark to look for on the Eiffel Tower because of its gold dome. So we'll look for it later. And off to the right over here is also the Rodin Museum where the thinker is. And by bus, you can see it over there behind the trees. I'll give you kind of a quick perspective where we are. There's our bus. Bonjour, there's our group. Yay, we just left the Eiffel Tower. And now we're coming right back here to Les Invalides, where Napoleon. I was always the wondering Rodin, what he's thinking about. Huh? Where did I put my Louis fourteen on his horse, huh? the Here's statue. Les to remind he was the one who constructed this place in the 17th century outside the city of Paris. Imagine that this And here's the Georges V bridge where Passport to Paris was um, filmed, is where his Midnight in Paris finished here. Beautiful bridge with the gold. And in fact, the bridge that goes into Monticello was modeled after these bridges here in Paris. Yes, you see the Okay, we're in Saint-Germain nice now. Beautiful yes. cafe. Les Deux Magots, very the famous. Abbey. It's in our textbook as well. Voila. And now we're moving down Saint-Germain. Very famous boulevard. Saint very famous building. It's a nice little tour temple. of the Luxembourg Garden in a minute. Like Victor Behind Hugo me. is buried there. It's Luxembourg Garden. And then the Pantheon back over here again. That's where we studied it. Yes, you see on the right hand side, so it's a Greek temple, right? Yes. Until the Musée 1800, the and then, yes, you move on to Musée d'Orsay. Very nice. Here's Joan Okay, just arrived at the Louvre. This is where our Baudelaire Jocan book took place. Over this way is where the boys were hiding behind the archway in the Rue de Rivoli. Everyone's here taking pictures. We're about to go in and take some, have some lunch. 
Yep. Oh, look at that. Oh, we know her. Yeah. <laughs> and there's the mini Arc de Triomphe. And when you look through it, you'll see the big one on the other side. This leads to the Jardin de Tuileries. This is the Tuileries or the Royal Gardens, also in our novel. And then the Pavilion Molien is actually behind this bus, unfortunately, on the right-hand side of the Louvre. So we'll see some more and some pretty pictures. All right, heading to our Louvre visit, La Durée. This is for a dear, dear student of mine. And so here they're back. Here we are in the Louvre, heading towards Okay, getting ready for a visit, had a wonderful lunch. Now this is right under the pyramid. This is how you come in from the pyramid. We came in through the food court, so it's a little different, but we're gonna head here soon to our visit of the Mona Lisa and a lot of other things. Hey guys, hello, hello. It's really one of the biggest art museums in the world. Athena, now we're walking into the Roman and Greek. Aphrodite, Venus to Milo, and there's our group over there with our sassy fun tour guide. Okay, now where the Nike symbol came from is this, winged victory of Samothrace, way up here. That's where your Nike swoosh came from. Leonardo da Vinci, the Virgin of the Rocks, we saw this also in London as well. Okay, to give you perspective, we're on route to the Mona Lisa, there it is. But then, behind us is the largest painting in the whole room, and that's this. That is Jesus turning water into wine. It's the wedding feast at Cana, massive. And then this way is the Mona Lisa down there, get it? Look at this beautiful room. Tired. Michelangelo sculpture. Had a wonderful visit in the Louvre. This is outside the Louvre. All right, in the Place Napoleon, Napoleon Square. So if you read my book in French class, this is where a lot of the action takes place. Also, right over here, in the distance is the Pavilion Molien. That is the entrance that most of the action takes place from. So that said, it's right here outside the loop. Now if I do a panorama, come back around. There's our group, yay! And then back in the distance, you can see the big arc in the distance through that one arch. So it's the Arc du Carousel and the Garden of Tuileries, which is the Royal Gardens right here. Now we're just strolling through the Royal Garden, the Jardin de Tuileries, and in the distance, you can see the Champs-Élysées and the Arc um, de Triomphe and La Concorde. That looks like the Washington Monument kind of in the distance. Here in the Royal Gardens, behind me is the Louvre. Give you a quick perspective of where we are. Just a quick roundabout. Hey, voila, there you go. We just came from way down there. And that's that little arch. And then we come back around this way. Musée d'Orsay is over in the distance, all the impressions are, and back to the Royal Garden. Heading up to that Arc de Triomphe. Yay, there's the group. All right, and then we have a goat. Not sure why, but we assume he's eating just to clean things up. The Royal Goat is smiling. here. I love it. Oh, Champs-Élysées. Come on, faster. Oh, Champs-Élysées. Oh, soleil sous la pluie. À midi ou à minuit. Il y a tout ce que vous voulez au Champs-Élysées. Woo! All right, here we go. Climbing up the Arc de Triomphe. On and on. Welcome to the top of the Arc de Triomphe. That's La Défense. That's the more modern arch. If I zoom out here, you can see that we made it to the top. And now we're gonna just do kind of a roundabout version of the view. And there's the Eiffel Tower. Just around the bend from La Défense. Going this way. Okay, here's the Champs-Élysées. We were just, let me get through the, the angle here. We are just on this corner singing the Champs-Elysees way down there. We just took the metro from underneath the Champs-Elysees. And we have, earlier we were way down here at the Louvre and through those gardens way in the distance. Our hotel, however, is over in this direction near what's called Sacré-Cœur. And that's the white mausoleum, moth-looking building on top. It's in a Catholic church. Mr. Farrar just went and had mass there. So welcome to the top of the Arc de Triomphe. Beautiful view on a beautiful day. Now back down underneath the arch, this is the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. And 
said, here rests a, sol a French soldier dead who died for his country, 1914 to 1918. So we're underneath now the Arc de Triomphe. Let's give you a kind of a visual. We were standing up there, and then all the names of all the folks who died. And this is the arch that Napoleon would march his troops through after victory. Now to stroll in the Champs Elysees. Here's McDonald's, showing it only because it's crazy right here on the Champs Elysees and this beautiful terrasse as well. Beautiful day to be strolling along. And here's Le Quique. This is McDonald's competitor. Again, still on the Champs Elysees. So right next door is where I used to work at Planet Hollywood. Now at Zara. And also right next door is where Thomas Jefferson stayed when he was the minister to the United States of the United States in France from 1723 to 1729. So everyone's shopping here on the Champs Elysees. Quite a busy day. We just came from the Louvre over here. We're meeting here at Franklin Roosevelt, and there's the Disney store right next to Lacoste. Fun day, and then after this, we're off to the Eiffel Tower after dinner. Quick stop at Sephora. This is the biggest Sephora in the world. Ta-da! For those that like the makeup. And here is Gallery Lafayette and Mono Prix, where a lot of the kids got a lot of clothes and some fun stuff before we rendezvoused down the road. And a fun little crepery. Yes, sir. Normalement, il est déjà prêt. Bonjour! Bon appétit! We finally made it to the restaurant! At least some of us made it. I don't know. <laughs> Here's my rigatoni with fruit de mer. That would be seafood, clams, and mussels, and some word I don't know. And then this is a French onion soup. Bon appétit! All right, bon appétit! All right, bonjour! Heading up the Eiffel Tower! Woohoo! Okay, we're climbing up the Eiffel Tower! Music Festival concert. We just made it to the first floor of the Eiffel Tower, walked up 346 steps, and this is the Champs de Mars beneath us for the winter or summer solstice. Excuse me, yesterday was June 21st, the longest day, and they have a huge concert going on tonight. Pretty cool. All right, bravo to the girls, made it to the first floor. Rock on, girls, nicely done. Woohoo! And what time is it, guys? What time is it? 9.57. And it is sunset here in Paris. Pretty cool. Woohoo! Well done. Bravo. Made it just in time for sunset. This is the Musée de Chaillot. This is one of the pretty places to come out for great pictures of the Eiffel Tower. You can see the sun setting in the background. And it is 10 o'clock at night. Bravo. All right, everybody turn around. Say bonjour. Bonjour. Or bonsoir, we should say rather. Bonsoir. There it is. It's sparkling. We're on the Eiffel Tower. Awesome. Woo! -hoo. All right, and there it is, sparkling. There it is, sparkling. So pretty. All right, we're heading down. Oh, wow. Oh, Okay, we're going down. There it is. A little uneventful compared to walking. Hey, guys, everybody look up. Smile. Cheese. Okay, we're walking in. Look at that gold sparkling in the sun. Here we go. Off to see the Sun King. Bienvenue, Versailles. Welcome to Versailles. This is the royal chapel here. This is where Louis again, the 14th, the Sun King, the 15th, and the 16th, who Mary Marie Antoinette lives. And here is the infamous or famous Harvey Marie Antoinette. Voila, Louis XIV, Louis XIV. Moving through Versailles and then soon out to the royal gardens. Okay, we have arrived in the royal bedroom. Okay, now 
we're going to enter into the Hall of Mirrors, La Galerie des Glaces, most famous hall in all of Versailles. Unbelievable. Baroque, Rococo style, with all the gold inlay, with the light reflecting is how we got the Rasole, the Sun King, to get his name. Now we're in Marie Antoinette's chambers. And over here, her secret door, she sneak in her lovers. Here is Napoleon the First being crowned with Josephine bowing to him. Very famous painting to place in Notre Dame where he found himself in Bienvenue à la Here in Versailles, the famous macaroons. Beautiful, beautiful. Here we're going to get the Marie Antoinette and Rose Garden. Here in Versailles. Bon appétit. Gardens continue. We're heading now to go bike riding to Marie Antoinette's Hamo, her cottage, here at Versailles. Et voilà, Poseidon. This is the uh, actual picture I show in class of Versailles. Now we're going to see the gardens as they continue on. Voila! Bonjour, Versailles! Woo! Here in the garden. We're about to go catch our bike ride here. Classical music playing in the trees. Okay, there's big fish here too on Versailles grounds. Wow, that's crazy. Big, big, big guys. Big, big, big guys. All right, we're heading off still to get the bikes to the Grand Canal. And then after the Grand Canal, we'll head to the Hameau of Marie Antoinette. Okay, we're heading off on our bikes for the Hamlet. Oh, there you go, we got a nice little ring. Okay, en route. And we're off, we made it to the Grand Canal on bike. Well done, everybody. All right, en route. First stop, the Petit Trianon. Okay, en route to the Hamo. It's a wild goose chase, but we'll get there eventually. We made it! The Petit Trianon, now the Grand Piano, and finally the Hamo de Marie Antoinette, her little hamlet here in the countryside. Okay, we've arrived. We we're even commenting the wheat was kind of short and sweet, along with the hay bales. Back over here, where everyone's getting their pictures. Got little hay bales, give you perspective with the ladies. Oh my gosh, so precious. And here it is. This is her little playhouse, her little Hamo. Okay, here's Marie Antoinette's little fairy tale land play world. Give you a quick visual. We're just on the other side. Everyone's taking pictures. Hi guys! Hello, hello! Her fun little house in the back. She used to have sheep out here and dress them up and play with them to escape Versailles. Still walking through as fast as we can. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful little area. How nice is that? But I do want us oh to enjoy. Look at this. How beautiful. Au revoir, Mo de Marie Antoinette. Wonderful to finally see this. So beautiful. After an exciting and adventuresome bike ride, now we're heading back to Versailles en route to Paris. So, au revoir, Versailles. Au revoir, Marie Antoinette. Just popped out of the metro, and there's a ceremony going on here at the Arc de Triomphe. Not quite sure what, but it might be a celebratory something for the firefighters. They were marching with flags down in there. There we go. So we'll send Team Shiflet to go check it out for us. They're gonna climb. Welcome to the Centre de Pompidou, Chatelet. All the malls and stuff are underground here, and this is a modern art museum. We're going. Okay, the name of this area is Beauberg. Beautiful bird. And again, this is the Centre Pompidou and Crazy Town. And there's the Centre Pompidou on the other side. Really fun area with lots of shops and cafes and what have you. Et voila. There you go. Show you one more part of Paris and lots of little shops and things down this way. So now back to their hotel for some dinner. Okay, our last dinner in Paris. Boeuf Bourguignon. Bon appétit. So exciting. Okay guys, last dinner in Paris. Au revoir. That's right, my cord. Et voila. Au revoir. Last dinner. Oh. The last French dessert. Bon appétit. Okay, welcome to Pigalle en Vert is our stop. We're going to head up this road up to Sacre Coeur, one of my favorite spots to watch the sunset in Paris our last night here, and then just enjoy our last time together. All right, en route. And there's our metro sign. On y va. All right, and the hardy ones are walking up. Here we go, en route. We're winding our way up to Sacré-Cœur. 
So who is this? This is our, our guide Peter and who is our lovely well, friend here? I'm a, I'm a student of his yes. uh, and we work together oh. on acting and it's a beautiful stuff. And, Fabulous. And uh, that's And you And you much. sometimes work in the fashion show behind me? Yeah, like well, I, I used to do this, this ah. some time to earn And it's just money. a fashion show here at Secco Co, right? Is that what we're looking at over here? quintessential Parisian Paris back streets right here behind the backdrop of Sacré Coeur. But there's a fashion show going on, so we're going to palpitate, take advantage of this. Back to Place du Tête, and the lighting is spectacular. Amazing last night. Justin Timberlake apparently was at the fashion show up there at Sacré Coeur. Here's our group. And here's our view. Now we're heading back down. Miss Dina is a trooper. Look at her go, this is awesome. We're heading back down. Good morning, it's our final day here on the Champs-Elysees in Paris. I ran to the Arc de Triomphe. Wanted to wish everyone safe travels, a wonderful rest of your summer. Thank you so much for your patience, flexibility, and endurance. This was certainly an adventure, but one that'll last a lifetime. So au revoir Paris, au revoir Lancre, et bonnes vacances à tous. Merci beaucoup.